Hello. The following exclusive interview is presented by H.S. Clark, author of Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, part of the Dr. Powers mystery series. For more interviews and information on Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com. This is Author Spotlight featuring Corey Lynn Feynman, author of Border Field Blues. Hello, I'm H.S. Clark, and we're here in uh, beautiful Long Beach, California at the BoucherCon World Mystery Convention. And I'm here with author Corey Lynn Feynman. Corey Lynn Feynman has a book out called Borderfield Blues. Corey, tell us about Borderfield Blues. Uh, well, this is a book, as you might guess, I, I, I live in San Diego, California, and this takes place in San Diego. It takes place at a place called Borderfield Park which is um, a state park at the very corner of California. It's right against Mexico, it's right against the Pacific Ocean. And uh, it's a very interesting mix of people, animals, birds, border patrol people, legal people, illegal people. I've noticed you've used your location very well in your books. You've got another book, uh, Black's Beach Shuffle, yeah, which okay. takes place at, at the well-known Black's Beach. Right. Tell us about that. Black's Beach, if you don't know it, is uh, the nude beach in San Diego, has been since I've been around, um, sometimes officially, sometimes unofficially. But it's also very close to the kind of tech center of, of San Diego. And um, I kind of mix those two. There's a lot of people living in very nice houses on the cliffs above Black's Beach. This is a series, is that right? This is a series. And you have a protagonist. Tell us about your protagonist. Yeah, my protagonist quite is... Quite an unusual protagonist. He, he, yeah, he's, he's quite different, and that's, that's one of the reasons I, I decided on the series. Um, his name is Raleigh Waters. He is a professional guitar player. Um, he's in his 40s. He's uh, gone past the years that he's going to make a big living playing guitar, but he still enjoys doing it. He still does it well. He still is, you know, he's still one of the better guitar players in town but he can't make all ends meet just by playing guitar. This seems like a little bit autobiographical as you were a musician yourself going back to uh, uh, I believe uh, a punk rock band called P15 that is and correct. then finishing up with your brother with a band called Bad Dog. That is correct. Those are, those are kind of the bookends of my, my music career which is about 20 years. Um, P15 is about 1979, 1980 uh, in Los Angeles uh, played the whole punk scene with all the other bands at that time, X and uh, the Blasters and the Go-Go's and that whole group. How are you enjoying the writing as compared to the, uh, the life as a musician? The writing is much nicer in that I don't have to pack up a lot of gear when I ah, do my yes, job. Yes, yes, yeah. well, there are books. There are books, yeah, <laughs> but I can handle those. It, and, and I get to choose my hours. I don't stay out nearly as late anymore. That's probably why I switched. So you had an interesting background. You used to be a, so a sound designer. You worked at the Old Globe uh, Theater. That's correct. And you also played the keyboards. You, uh, you were also a songwriter. I am a songwriter. Um, and that actually, one of the interesting things in writing you know, the books was that, and actually, I use a few lyrics from, from some of my old songs oh, in the books. Oh. Yeah, and that, that's been kind of fun to kind of connect you back to that You sort of got material. a built-in movie score for when this turns to, uh, uh, into the movie uh, script. At the very least, I think we got a theme song. We've got yeah. a theme song. You've got, uh, yeah. uh, you've got, you're going to get a whole lot of fans who like rock and roll uh, who should really love your uh, sleuth and your, and your mysteries. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. There's a lot of rock and roll references to musicians. Uh, uh, one thing, is most, most of the characters are are uh, a mix of names of famous musicians or musical equipment or musical terms. Raleigh himself is Roland, the music company, and Waters for Muddy Rodders. So. Okay, so, so, you, so you're, you're only stealing from the best. I only from steal the great. from the best, absolutely. Well, that's what we like. Yeah, I try, actually, I, in general, I try to name the villains after musicians I don't like as well, <laughs> but that doesn't always work out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the villains, uh, you, know, you, you kind of know who the villains are because they're going to be the bad musicians. Yeah, of course, you may not dislike that musician quite as well, so we'll see. I don't know. I may get in trouble with that. You have another uh, one coming out in the series sometime soon. When is that coming out? Uh, that'll be coming out next summer, so summer of 2015, probably June. I don't have an exact date yet, but uh, that is called Slab City Rockers. Slab City Rockers. Yes, and this one I take Raleigh east to the desert. To, Give uh, us a little... Yeah. A uh, sneak preview. I'm real big on sneak previews here. Uh, okay. Well, a little no sneak. spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. I'm not sure. I can't spoil it because I'm not quite sure. I know exactly what happens. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I know most of what so happens. So it's a mystery even to you. It's still a little bit of a mystery to me. I see. I, when, I, when you write your books, do you do you put the ending? Uh, do you know the ending before you start, or, uh, or do you leave that till I, later? I, I t actually tend to leave the ending. Um, I, I 
when I do my books, I generally have a lot of locations. I see. And I have a lot of characters. I see. And uh, I kind of know the general crime, though sometimes that changes. All right. Um, but um, then I just start putting together who's here now and how did that happen. And then that's, I, it starts to kind of happen, right? So the appropriate ending is written when the time comes. When the time comes. And I'm, All right. I have one now, but. I think that well, I give us a, a sneak preview of what's uh, in store with Slab City Rockers. So in this one, um, Raleigh actually gets hired by a young woman. She's a club DJ, so she's a little out of his depth as far as music. It's a totally different kind of music. But she's been given this strange-looking guitar, oh. which has a photo of a woman on the back that she thinks might be her mother. She was adopted. Oh. So Raleigh gets the job of trying to find out you know, who her mother was. And so her mother might have been a musician of some kind. Might have been. And again, we're pulling on autobiography here because you kind of have a, an artsy family. Your, your father was a photographer. Your mother was a photographer. Your brother was a musician. Did yeah. I leave anybody out? No, my mother actually technically wasn't a photographer. She was a great supporter of all artists, which was great. I mean, when my brother and I grew up, we, had, we got to rehearse in the house, in the living room. Um, and my mother was very forgiving about that. Uh, Probably, I think she was being smart and keeping us out of trouble. But yes, yeah, so she knew if she could hear the loud, the loud noise in the house from the instruments, that you were not somewhere else exactly. getting, getting into trouble. Too much noise in the house is better than no noise in the house. I don't know if the home. mothers today would feel the same way. I'm not so. Sure. Well, she was pretty special that way, so <laughs> I think that helped. At any rate, Slab City. He, Slab City is a place in the desert in California near the Salton Sea. Okay, it's kind of an off the grid community of people living in trailers. There's all types of people, artists, musicians, um, some people that just don't need to be away from the rest of us. Um, and it's a really interesting mix. There's also, there's a whole community there. There's a stage there where they play music every night. It is literally a, uh, a slab of cement. I, 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 I remember that scene featured in Independence Day. Ah, I believe yeah. they, they filmed that. They filmed, a, they filmed a lot of things over they, they've there. They've done quite a bit of filming over there because it's, it is a great location. It has these slabs that were there for the fort years ago. It was a training ground, a military training ground. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's a great location and, and now it's just a very interesting off the grid kind of place. So he, has to, he ends up there. This trail kind of ends up in Slab City. Okay, and um, uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, yourself. You, uh, you actually taught at the Art Institute and at uh, University of San Diego. Yes. What were you teaching there? Yeah, um, actually San Diego State, uh, the Art Institute, uh, I've taught at UCSD. I teach mostly um, interface design, web design, interestingly really? enough. Yeah. That's so far from both mu mu music and, and uh, <laughs> writing that I can't uh, believe it. Well, that's the in-between music that's and writing. That's your other life. That's, that's how I made a living. Well. I guess all writers do have to have a day job, yeah, don't we? We all have a day job, and that's, that's <laughs> mine, so I, I can, it's one I can live with. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, I, 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 you know, I want you to be kind to uh, Corey. You've know, you got you to buy this book, Borderfield Blues, uh, so he doesn't have to go back to uh, that, that horrible, horrible uh, day job. Oh, yeah, we don't yes. want that. Where can they get uh, Borderfield Blues? Borderfield Blues is available on Amazon. Uh, it's in uh, Nook form. Um, you should be able to order it from your bookstore. Um, available just about anywhere. They sell fine mystery books, but you may have to order. Okay, and when can we expect the next in the series, Slab City Rockers, to come out? Slab City uh, is uh, scheduled for summer of 2015. I don't have a closer date than that yet, but I would expect around June. And if we want more information, what is your website? Website is CoreyLynnFaman.com, C-O-R-E-Y-L-Y-N-N-F-A-Y-M-A-N.com. And uh, yeah, I do post there on occasion, a lot of information about the books, about me, and various topics. Well, Corey, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. And on behalf of myself, H.S. Clark, thank you all for watching. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching this exclusive interview presented by H.S. Clark, author of Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, part of the Dr. Powers Mystery Series. For more interviews and information on Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com.